Thanks, Nick. Just uh, how, how weird was that scenario that uh, occurred between the second and third periods, which, uh, as you guys learned about the offside that should have been called but wasn't, and then the penalty was wiped off, but the goal was out. How, how odd was that? Well, I just think it's it's a bad look for the NHL to not get it right. So odd for sure that they have to take a penalty off the board. That it's called a goal. So it's, it's frustrating, but I mean, you got to got to move past it too. I mean, we're we're in a game and there's adversity at all points of the game. So we had to be better and and uh, didn't find a way to do that tonight. Having that information relayed to you guys in that intermission, how much of it did you carry out on the ice with you? Just try to sort it out in your own brains. Well, I think it just confuses everybody, and like I said, it makes the line, like linesmen look bad. It makes the refs look bad. It just it's just a bad look. It's just you know accidents happen, but that's why we have that that replay for there for a reason, so they don't. And so that's the hard part. But again, the, you know, it's not why we lost the game. Maybe you can say it is because we, we lost by a goal, but uh, you know, it was, a, it was a weird game tonight. Thanks. Okay. Next, we'll go to Jacob Myers. Go ahead, Jacob. Nick, uh, Patrick gets two goals tonight. What, what did you see just on those power play units and the offense in general? Well, just, I mean, what a threat he is on that side. I mean, he's a guy, you know, you, you're standing in front. Uh, you almost don't need to screen a shot. That's how hard and that's how accurate it is. Uh, that's what he brings, man. I mean, just see that in his third game with us. It's, uh, it's, it's as advertised, you know. So it's uh, it's nice to see him feeling good and, and, and contributing in that way. And we're going to need that from him. That's why we brought him in. And, and uh, you know, he's, he's done everything we've asked him to do so far. It seemed like a few of the goals allowed tonight were some – that bounces one where uh, Savvy just tries to bat it out of the air and, and misses. But then there were also some odd man rushes as well. What did you make of the defensive part of the game tonight? Yeah, I just thought it was sloppy, like the goals were. You know, I just thought, you know, some of the plays they got were, yeah, fluky plays. But then there, there's ones where we got to clear it out, or we, we shoot ourselves in the foot. And you know, we're a team that thrives off of, of not giving on man rushes and making them have to come through five man units. And tonight, you know, they got their chances that way. And you know, it's disappointing because you know, for the, for a lot of that game, I actually liked some of what we did. You know, we 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 were playing well, and that's a good team over there. So uh, it's hard when you can't string a full 60 minutes together where you're playing the right way. And yeah, they're gonna have pushes like any team does it seemed like every time we scored they'd have a push and we just didn't have an answer for it and then they you know they took over obviously off after that offside goal and uh you know and we find a way to climb back in but boom they score get another one so it's just those are the momentum swings that we have to shore up in our game and they're going to allow us to win more games than, than uh, being on the other side of it next we'll go to aaron portsline go ahead aaron you know, were you guys like totally done with that offside call in other words did you start thinking about it in the second intermission when the referees came into the room what was that moment like and how surreal was that i don't think that happens very often yeah i just i mean we we moved past it we were killing the penalty and and nothing you can do about it thinking they got the right call and uh, we were shocked because we felt it was so obvious so you know uh, it's disappointing but you move past it because you got to kill a penalty and, and that's just the way the game works you just you keep but then you know to see them take a penalty off the board and all that stuff it just it, it's just like i said it's just not a good look i mean it just get to get the call right in the first place and i get mistakes happen but like again like i said i mean it's that's why we have that replay that's why toronto checks every angle and it's shocking that they didn't get it right this time did you guys, was there any conversation that you guys had? In other words, could, did you have an opportunity to, to ask them why the goal wasn't taken off as well if that wasn't supposed to count? No, that's, uh, Torts, Torts had his opportunity to do that, not us. Thanks. Okay, finally we'll go back to Dave Metzl. Go ahead, Dave. Yeah, just real quick, Nick. I know you were striving for cohesiveness and consistency. That was kind of what we were talking about before the game. Did you take strides in that direction at the time? Yes and no. Yeah, I feel like, you know, I, th I thought we did a lot of good things, even though it was a weird game. I mean, would you have guessed that uh, the, between these two teams, we would have had that many goals on the board? I, I don't know. It's, I think it was just one of those weird games. But, you know, I did like some of the things we did. I thought we, we, we had a, a better focus on getting out of our end. and um, But we just we got to shore up some things. There's still some areas that we're allowing teams to play, uh, you know, out of out of situations that we should smother them in. So, um, you know, it's, it's a work in progress. But, you know, I like seeing and some guys, you know, get get going here and uh, some better plays. And uh, I think as we just come to, come together here and, and have a chance, another crack at them again tomorrow, I think that's a good opportunity for us and uh, we'll get going in the right direction. 